Now this next part of the question, we need to find the normal reaction, which in this diagram is the R. How do we do this? Well, basically what we need to do now is just simply resolve perpendicular to the plane. So I'm going to take away from the plane as positive. So we're only looking at forces now acting in this direction, along this line here. So it's like looking at this diagram. So resolving away from the plane, we have all of R, okay, acting out away from the plane. And then we have the components of the weight, 6G newtons, and the component of the 49 newtons acting in towards the plane. The component from the 6G is going to be 6G cos 30, as you can see over here and it acts in the opposite sense to the arrow, so therefore it's going to be minus 6g cos 30 degrees. And then the component of the 49 newtons acting into the plane, because it doesn't contain the angle, is going to be 49 sine theta, as you can see over here. So it's going to be minus 49 sine theta. And this is the resultant force away from the plane and because the particle does not move off the plane or into the plane, it's in relative equilibrium here, the resultant force must be equal to zero. So all I need to do is rearrange this, make R the subject, so if I add 6g cos 30 to both sides and also 49 sine of theta to both sides, we've got what R is. Now for sine theta, we worked out in the previous part that cos theta equaled 3 fifths or 0 0.6. And one way that you could work out what sine theta is without actually physically working out what the angle is, is to realize that this has come from what we call the 3, 4, 5 triangle. I'll just explain it here. If we've got theta, cosine compares the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So the adjacent would be 3 units and the hypotenuse opposite the right angle would be 5. And if you use Pythagoras' theorem to work out what this short side was, it would be the square root of 5 squared minus 3 squared, which comes out at square root of 16, which is 4. But you should know this as a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So when it comes to sine theta, you don't need to work out the angle because sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which would be 4 over 5, 4 fifths, or if you like, 0 0.8. So all you need to do is substitute 0 0.8 for sine theta in there, work this out in your, on your calculator, and what you'll find you get is R equals 90.122, and so on. And so if we round this to, say, three significant figures, what you get is 90.1 newtons to three significant figures, 3SF for short. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.